Hello guys, welcome to a new language learning tip video. I didn't post a video like that for a while, so I think it's now the right time to post a new video like that. In this video I want to uh, talk about the topic, how not to forget a language, so how to remember languages after you've learned them, okay? I really want to focus uh, on that because I've received this question a lot from people, like how do you remember all these languages? So I think it's uh, good to talk about that. Um, if you like more language learning content, uh, I also uh, offer extra language learning tips, um, extra Dutch lessons, uh, and even uh, language learning booklets on my Patreon page. So if you want to support me, if you want to support my work, and if you also like to get access to extra content uh, or Dutch lessons, then you can check out my Patreon page. And uh, yeah, you can also find some tiers where I ever, even offer booklets to learn French uh, or German, you know? So uh, you can find the link to my Patreon page below this video in the description. And uh, thanks in advance for the great support. And I can use this uh, support uh, yeah, to improve my work, you know? Um, yeah, so let's focus uh, on, um, yeah, on the language learning tip which I want to give. If you want to remember languages, if you never want to forget them, it's really important after uh, you've learned a language for a period to use the, the languages and the different ways to use the language. So, for example, you could um, try to, uh, yeah, to speak these languages with a native speaker. Um, you could, um, yeah, what, what, you, what, what can you also do? You can try to uh, practice languages on social media. So sometimes I use Instagram, for instance, to write Russian. And uh, yeah, I think that's like a great way if you have like uh, friends or people you know, if you're uh, writing in a language. Like I'm giving this tip because a lot of people use social media. So it's like something of your daily life almost. So how cool is it if you can learn languages at the same time while uh, using social media? So I'm now really talking about maintaining languages. And that's like the whole key uh, to, the, to the success. That's uh, if you find a way to feel very relaxed, you know. So if you're learning a language very intensively uh, at the beginning, for example, for three months, um, whatever method you use, you know, that's up to you. But I mean, after these three months, if you are uh, if you then want to maintain it, I think it's good to find passive ways. So uh, listening to music, watching movies in other languages, writing in different languages, you know. Um, yeah, what, what else? Yeah, I... What I, what I mentioned before, I think it's good to talk to native speakers, you know, on the streets. That's, that's what I'm basically doing. So I have the uh, opportunity to ma maintain so many languages because I speak all these 90 languages daily with tourists. And of course, sometimes I cannot speak one of these languages uh, during the day. But I mean, uh, yeah, it's almost for sure that I can at least speak Mandarin, Spanish and Portuguese and French and German, for instance, when I'm working. Uh, so if you guys don't know it, like I'm an uh, artist, I'm uh, selling my drawings and etchings on the on the street, you know, uh, at the Zanse Schans, you know, there's uh, an area with a lot of windmills. Some people recognize me and uh, they, they saw me there, it's like very cool. Um, yeah, so that this is like the best tip which I can uh, give you, is to find a way to feel relaxed, um, listen to music, watch movies, and the most important thing is to uh, speak it with native speakers and also to write and text people. Uh, yeah, in their mother tongue, it's like a great way. Okay, yeah, as I told you before, uh, yeah, the link to my Patreon page is below the video if you want to get access to extra language learning content or if you, want, uh, if you also want to get access to extra Dutch lessons. There's a lot extra content on my Patreon page. And uh, yeah, cheers and thanks. Cheers, guys.